Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Blake and I are here again to talk about the race around the world. Yes, so excited to be back again with you, Cami. another week. Um, okay, so I wanted to start by saying um, this episode opens with this kind of grand entrance into Switzerland, which is super exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, last week, I mentioned that there was four teams that were not going to return. Mm -hmm. The four teams were confirmed that they didn't return in this I episode. know, and for some reason I was still surprised by that. But yeah. I, it was kind of like, um, you know, they showed the pictures of the teams that weren't returning. Mm -hmm. And then I've had so many questions, okay, you know? Okay, so yeah. I found all the answers. Tell, so please tell. I found two last week that I, that I said, but one of mine was wrong. So I said that Connie and Sam had a baby, which is true. Okay. Um, they were pregnant throughout the pandemic, and then they actually had the baby. I think it was like in December or in the fall or something, like very new baby, okay. right? So like obviously they yeah, weren't. Yeah, babies kind yeah, of, they, weren't gonna they kind of, you know, yes. change your world around. Yes, so, now yeah. the one I was wrong about is I said Caro and Ray, so the uh -huh. um, Love Island couple, yes. I said that they broke up, which is true, they did break they up, did but break apparently up. that's not why they didn't I could return. tell they were gonna break up based on that first episode. Oh my gosh. That's a whole nother story. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but she, um, apparently she's actually a German citizen and so with her border restrictions and visa restrictions with COVID, she couldn't leave. And so that's actually really? why they didn't compete. Yes, apparently oh. they were actually willing to come back even as a broken up couple, which is huh. very, very odd, but whatever works. Well, you know, yes. how much money do they stand to win? I mean, oh, you know, I know. we'll split it in half, I, it's okay. I know. Thanks. And then um, you have Anthony and Spencer. So they are the guys um, that kind of helped take down the terrorist attackers in Paris. Yes, unfortunately, I loved them. Yeah, unfortunately with them, it was just Anthony just had gotten a new job promotion a few months before they got the call to come back and it, oh. they like, couldn't get the time off with the new it's promotion. It's hard for about anybody, yeah. I would think, to walk away yeah. from a job. Yeah, so. so it was just scheduling. And then I think okay. probably the hardest one to hear was that Isaiah and Tyler, so they are um, the married duo that went viral on YouTube yes. with their wedding video. Yes. So they actually flew out to Switzerland. They were bound to start. A day and a half, I think they said, before um, they started in Switzerland, they had got the call that Isaiah's brother had just passed from COVID. Oh. So they immediately had to fly back home. So they were actually out there ready to go. And he had mentioned, um, so Amazing Race released a video, by the way. So this is all over their social media if you want to go and watch the full video. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he had mentioned that they flew all the way out there and his brother had COVID when he left, but didn't realize it was that bad. Right. So oh, that kind of sucks. It touched the world. Yeah. That is really, really yeah. horrible. Yeah. But anyway, jumping back into yeah. where we're at now. So so um, the first two teams that were eliminated do return. So you have Michael and Mo and Natalia and Arun. So father, daughter, and the singing police officers. So that was really fun to see them jump back in. And yeah. I was wondering how the other teams felt about it because when I, when they came back in, it was a surprise to them. Yeah. I felt like, and maybe I misread this, I felt like they weren't too excited to have more teams back. Am I wrong? See, what I don't know. About that? I, I kind of agree. Uh -huh. um, it, there was like a look on all their faces. You know yeah. what I mean? And I was like, exactly. mm, like what that's this interesting. Look? Yeah, but um, I will say, I listened to a podcast that I'll get into in a little bit. And two of the contestants said that they were kind of all in a cohesive agreement that um, they needed those teams to be able to compete. Why? Well, because you can't like... Typically, I think the final leg is three or four teams. So if there's only five teams, there's going to be like two legs left in the season's See, over. I guess I was thinking, you know, the more have already been eliminated and that couldn't come back, the better chance I would have to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like more people coming back, it's like, oh, well, there yes. go, my odds just went down again. Right. And that's that would make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But I guess in actuality, it's like they couldn't necessarily continue with only five teams or it would just be really short and kind of boring for us to watch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Okay, but anyway, so- It was so, fun for them. I was excited for those. Yes, they got to come. yes. Okay, so we get to this roadblock and they go up on this gondola in like the Swiss mountains somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now, would you be able to do that hike that they had to do? Okay, I, I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay, I so you're a pro. I think, no, oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I think that I could do it. You think However, so? I could be paralyzed with fear. You know, I mean, yeah. who knows till you're actually up there. Okay, I will say it didn't look that scary to me until, so Akbar and Cherie were in like last place this entire time, right? And Cherie, those clouds rolled in when she was up there. That probably would have given me like a minor heart attack. Right, I don't know. Not if, be able I don't, to see yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So um, then after um, the roadblock, we end up at the detour and it's punch it or toss it. So you either do a flag toss or you have to like make this like handmade belt thing. Toss I don't really it. know how to describe I'd it. I'd toss it all the way. Okay. I think so too. Yeah. I will say the belt looked 
easy, but then those police officers made it so complicated. I'm it like, was I don't tedious. Know. Yeah, and I feel like based off how the couples did it, if you had like a good either like song or a rhythm to go with the flag toss, it wasn't actually as difficult as it looked. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it was so cute to watch all these people trying yeah. to do the flag toss. Yeah. You know, have no experience doing yeah. that. I love these challenges that they add in all the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. so much fun. I think I love that yeah. whole show. Yeah. So just some general thoughts about this yeah. episode. Um, one, Akbar mentioned that he was going to be more supportive and more patient this time. And I, honestly, I just don't think He's it's not. that true. And he should have done the hike instead of his wife. His wife literally mentioned that she hates heights. He should have done it. Yeah. That made me really mad. Every single episode he mentions, you know, I want to push her physically. And it's like, well, you don't have to do that. Why yeah. don't you just take the physical challenge? Yes. Know? Also, Lulu and Lala, so the radio DJ twins, whatever you want to call them. I didn't really care for him the first kind of like yeah. few episodes prior, I guess, to the return. But now I'm really about them they seem like in a really good healthy place they yeah. it seems like they less drama yeah they're working together better now um so i'm excited to kind of see what goes on with them um but one last plug i wanted to throw out there yes. so there is another new podcast i've talked about a few before with two contestants so dusty um who is part of the guys from columbia and then kayla who is one of the two flight attendants they started a new podcast that you can listen to on youtube called pit stop podcast fun. um they cover each episode it's super fun they kind of just yeah. give you more insight into what's going on um as well as kind of share some behind the scenes. Um, I just listened to episode three where they talk about Switzerland um, and they talk a lot about what everyone was doing in the year and a half break. So that's kind of exciting if you need a good listen this week. But Cami, this is always so fun. That's all for this leg of the race. And as always, you can catch tonight's episode right here on Color 10 or catch up on this season on Paramount Plus or CBS.com. That's right. We'll be right back.